Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I'm back with another Pandora video. So this video may be a little longer. Um, I apologize, but also y'all have been asking for it. I'm finally going to sit down and I'm going to do a full layer by layer look into my entire stackers box um, in my entire Pandora collection. So I do have my other two little pieces um, jewelry boxes here. These are the ones I use when I travel, if I'm just going for a day or two, or if I'm going on a cruise. Um, so I do have a few things that I keep in here kind of um, for when I'm going on a trip. So I will show you the insides of these as well, but this is my entire collection. I'm not even wearing any today so that you can see the full collection. Um, and it's going to take a minute. So stick around if you want to see how much money I've spent on Pandora. <laughs> well, a lot of these were gifts. So I can't even say I've bought everything in these boxes. In fact, I probably haven't even bought half of it. That's kind of irrelevant. Stick around if you want to see the, the pretty sparkly things, okay? We're going to point down and I'm going to go layer by layer and then we will do these two last. So if you also want not just a collection review, but a stackers review. I love my stackers box. It has gotten, as you can see, way bigger than I ever wanted it to get. I do still have room in here for more bracelets, but at the end of the day, um, I've tried lots of other jewelry boxes and I love that this one I can completely customize. I can add layers. They can be specifically what I want them to be. I know lots of different people, you know, they, they store their bracelets different ways. Sometimes they have just all their charms loose and then they'll put them on a bracelet and create different designs. I tend to like to create individual bracelets and then I kind of store them stacked with the other bracelets I wear with that bracelet. So I'll wear usually two or three bracelets on one side and then a single bracelet on the other side. Um, and so I kind of like to store my bracelets according to what I wear them with. That way when I'm getting dressed, if I'm wearing a blue outfit, I can throw on my blue bracelets. Or if I'm wearing a pink outfit, I can throw on my rose gold bracelets or vice versa. Um, but I do also have charms in here that are loose, either four bracelets or just not sure what I'm doing with them yet. <laughs> that happens too. Um, and then I also have a few other pieces in here that are not charm bracelets or not from Pandora. I think I only have a few not Pandora pieces, like my original charm bracelet that my mom got me when I was little. This is when, when I was a little girl. This is what started the obsession, not Pandora, but it is obviously very sentimental to me. So we are going to get started. I love my stackers box. Um, this is not sponsored. They haven't sent me anything. I have, I have definitely bought every single piece of the stackers collection. Nobody else has gifted me this, but I love it. Um, that's my honest opinion about it. So if you wanted to know the overall view of stackers, love it. We're going to jump in. It's going to take a minute. I'm going to point y'all down. I guess we'll start at the top and go down from there. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I have six layers to my stackers boxes. Four are identical and they are just charm bracelet kind of stations, you'll see them. And then two are different. So this top one is the first one that's different. And then one directly below that is the second one. I can't have all six layers stacked up right now because the camera is not tall enough. So we're just gonna go layer by layer. This top layer is the drawer layer and while I've picked all six layers for the layout specifically I picked this drawer layer for the layout not for the drawer if I had an option between stackable layer and drawer I wish all six layers were drawers because just having this top drawer not have to like move three or four layers over a side to get to things is really nice functionality. So 
that would be my one thing about stackers that I don't love is having to actually pick up layers and move them to get to what's inside. It's not a huge thing, especially since I know what's in my boxes, but we are going to go ahead and start with this top layer. And since it is the drawer layer, I'm going to just take the drawer out. That will probably be easier in the long run. So the one thing I really like about this, um, the blush version of the stackers box is that it has the rose gold detailing, which I love rose gold. I wish all of it had rose gold. Most of it does. You'll see uh, the second layer has silver detailing. So, you know, keep that in mind. But this layer comes with two rose gold charm bars. That is literally what I bought this layer for. I wanted these long charm bars for when I'm putting a bracelet together. I can fit all of the charms on one bar. So I also like with the top like display levels, um, I do have a clear top that fits all my other lids. So when I'm displaying things, I can put that clear top on it. I have my most special bracelets up top. So this is the bracelet. Started it all. This is the one that my husband bought me for our very first Christmas together. And he slowly added uh, one charm at a time. These ones in the middle. <laughs> the two periwinkle glass beads this uh pearl dangle pearl is my birthstone this was the original centerpiece um the wedding couple and the dancing couple were my my first five charms that i ever had that he bought me i also had two clips on here that i don't have anymore on this bracelet they're on a different bracelet that were just the rope clips now i have these delilah ones so I'm not going to go over every single charm on every single bracelet or we will be here for 12 million years. Um, I've been thinking about doing individual looks at bracelets. If you want to see a specific bracelet, let me know. So the other bracelet that I have in here is my two-tone kind of rose gold bracelet. This is the second one I ever made. And I just, I don't know. I just literally today got my third bracelet for a full charm bracelet so until today these are my only two snake chains that were 100 percent full of charms and so they are the two that i wear probably 90 percent i'll wear them one of them on this wrist and then i'll stack three or four of the other ones on this wrist with five charms or two charms or three charms you'll see so these are my main two bracelets We'll see how that works with the third one that I just put together today. But in addition to the two charm bracelets, this layer has these three little pockets, which I use for this large bow charm. I just had to have this. I love it. I have literally never once worn it. I bought it to go on an open bangle, and I just don't really like how it sits on an open bangle. So I'm still trying to decide how to wear it. Leave some comments down below with ideas because I want to wear it so bad, but maybe on a necklace, I don't know. I don't know guys, I gotta find a way because I love it and it just sits here looking pretty. So then I have this charm, it's not a charm at all. I have this bracelet that I wear um, stacked it is obviously not Pandora at all. It's my husband's signature in a bracelet. I like it, but it's not Pandora. But it's very special to me, so it goes in the top layer. And then I have my brand new O pendant. I just have this one um, Murano leaf on it, so I need, need some more charms for that guy. I don't know. I've thought about just getting a couple loose charms that I can change designs out, but I mean, I prefer to kind of put designs together and then wear those. I'm, I'm much more likely to like grab something that's already done as opposed to if I have loose charms, I never wear them. So we'll see. I will probably create a silver design and a rose gold, gold design for this. And that will be all I ever really do with it. 
Then I have these. So this is the beginnings of what will be an all pink bracelet. I've been working on this one for a while, but it's a, it's slow going. And then these are all Harry Potter and Star Wars charms that are to go on my Harry Potter bracelet. Um, I'm just waiting for like, I think tomorrow or the next day, I have a few more coming and I'd rather take the bracelet apart and put them all on at the same time. So I'm just waiting for that delivery. And then these will be off this bar. Cause my, my Harry Potter bracelet, I love it, but you'll see. It's bigger than I thought. I should have bought the size down. So I thought it would be complete with how it is. And I decided I needed more charms to fill it up that way. It stopped being so loose on my wrist. That's a weird problem. All right, ready? Second layer. Okay, so obviously this is the bracelet that I just completed today. And completed is a funny word because it's I still have a few charms to put on here. You can see there's there's not a lot of space, but there is a little space that I still want to fill. I do think I'm going to move these Muranos more like here so they're more evenly spaced. But again, I'm not going to go over every single bracelet, but this is the one I just literally put together before this video. I've had it on that charm bar and every video you've seen for a while. And it is the, the fairy garden. And I love it so much. I just want to put it on my wrist. Um, and then this one is the one I've been working on. I thought this one would be my next complete bracelet, but I am actually struggling with this one. I thought it was just going to be my next memory charm bracelet where I like get a charm everywhere I go and add it to this. That's how I completed my first two bracelets, but I've been buying more of these charms and putting them on here than on here. So this one will be complete eventually. Just these ones didn't go. So then for this layer, I have the two, um, these did not come with it. So for this layer, you can either purchase these half charm bars. You can take this out and you can put a long charm bar or you can just put things in them individually. It's completely up to you. So I bought these um, separate. They are just short charm bars. This one is going to go on an open bangle. These are just uh, loose charms that I'm waiting for homes on. And then we have my pretty CZ bracelet. I love to stack this one with all my other rose gold pieces. It's so pretty. This is the problem that started it all. So when I was 11, maybe younger than that, but I think I was 11. My mom gave me this charm bracelet and everywhere we went, um, like this is from when we went to the Liberty Bell in middle school, I would get a charm. And so these are all things and places that I went when I was a little girl. This was for my first confirmation. Elizabeth Ann Seton, that's my confirmation name and then some of them are from when I was really little see I don't I think maybe I just got the bracelet when I was 11 because like I can remember here this little cat I can remember picking this out when I was a little girl because I liked cats like that was the thought process I like cats I'm getting this cat so I don't know it's obviously not Pandora but I pulled this out one day and I showed it to my husband and he then for Christmas had the bright idea to buy me a Pandora charm bracelet. And I was pissed guys like straight up pissed because I wanted a new office chair. And instead of an office chair, he bought me a stupid charm bracelet and I cried. And then I looked at it closer and I fell in love and I now have six, uh, six jewelry box layers full of charms. So the man knew me well. <laughs> but he started in obsession and created a monster. So thanks, hun. So then these little six, I guess you can put whatever you want in them. I have some earrings. 
earrings. Neither of these are Pandora earrings, but they're ones I like to wear. This is actually from my jewelry making supplies. I have a whole bag of them, but they make excellent clasp openers. So I keep some in here um, to open my bracelets. Then I have some little spacers for my open bangle and some other sparkly end caps that I switch out and a little football charm that I bought for my football bracelet and it doesn't go. And so I need to like, need to do something with it. I really do like it, but in the meantime, he lives here. So layer two. I can't just move them aside. I have to move them in order. Guess let's just move these one at a time. So there's layer three. So as you can see, this is how the rest of the other four layers are. They're just little kind of charm stations, I guess you would call them, um, that you can put a bracelet around. I like that they're individual pillows. They keep everything organized. They show everything off. Like, obviously, this is not the most space efficient way to store charm bracelets, but I like to display them. And if I crammed like 20 of them in one box instead of six, I would have way more. So this is my rose gold layer. I keep my sliding bracelets in here. I have the cherry blossom bracelet. I love this one. I have this pink rose gold one that has all these pretty pink daisy clips. And my dragonfly, because my mom and I are huge, 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 huge Outlander fans. So this is my Outlander bracelet. And I wear it because I love it. And I actually, I typically wear these stacked. Um, then I have my ladybug bracelet. And I have, there's a ladybug on here. There's a ladybug on here. And there's a ladybug on here. This bracelet, um... It seems to, I don't know how to explain it. Like no matter what I do with it or how I clean it, it just doesn't seem to shine as much as these. Not these specifically, but my other rose gold ones. This specific bracelet just seems to get this kind of dinge to it. I need to bring it into the Pandora store and have them clean it. It was the first rose gold bracelet I ever got. So it's my oldest one. Um, and I'm maybe that's why it's just old, but then I have my one essence bracelet and it is Mickey and Minnie with the little heart in the middle. I stack that. So all of these per se are like, this one's complete. 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 These two, I could add something else to if they came out with something else that I liked. But for now, they're complete and I'm not planning to add anything else to them. This one needs clips and then it'll be complete. Um, this one's 100% complete. If they came out with anything else I wanted to put on here, I would have to take something off because it it's too tight to put more on. But I love it so much. I love those ladybugs. And then this leather one needs to be fixed, but it has my little typewriter. That's my brand new charm from the Valentine's collection. And I don't know how to say it, but these are not Pandora beads. They are Genos. I don't think that's how you say it, but that's what I've heard people say. And they have pictures of me and my husband and our fur babies is why I have them. I just, when I saw that they had picture charms, I had to have them. So Pandora came out with picture charms. I would have those, but this is my rose gold layer. And let's move on to the next one. See what I mean though about like the drawer being easier than stacking and unstacking. But I mean, they're called stackers. So this is kind of an in-between layer. It was a rose gold layer, but since I've changed some things around, it is now this. So I have my 
five strand of the pink bracelet and I just I love Marie on this I keep trying to take her off and do something else with it but I keep putting her back on it I like to wear it like that there you go I have my clip station bracelet and this has just a cosmic clip on it I could put other clips on it but I just I don't know I tend to like this one so I usually leave him on there this I bought, um, is it from Hong Kong? She's a girl from Hong Kong who helps me with all these exclusives. She sent me this one. She sent me the cherry blossom one. I did intend to fill this bracelet, but now that I have it, it is a little too tight. So I don't know what other things I'm going to put on it. This is just all this fan collection. I will put more things on this. And then my ocean charms. So I wear these on my cruises a lot. I love them. My little whale from when I just went whale watching with my mama. You didn't see this unboxing. These are these are some of my favorites right now because I just got them and I just went on this trip. We planned this trip like 12 million years ago, but COVID. So this has been a long time coming to get these bracelets to go on that trip. I love them. Bum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum. You guys are going to be like in the jewelry box by the time we're done because we still have two more layers. All right. So this layer is kind of uh, my Harry Potter layer, but this, this is obviously a Harry Potter bracelet. I wear it just like this. It's a bangle. This is my Harry Potter bracelet. And it is obviously not all Harry Potter. I also have Star Wars on here. I have Pokemon. Um, I have my little Stingray from when we went sting swimming with the stingrays, but he's black and this is my black and gold bracelet. So I'm not a huge fan of gold. I don't like gold, but Harry Potter, so much of that is gold. So there you go. Um, so all of those other uh, charms will go on this once they get here. I want to fill it up more almost all the way, if not all the way, because it's so big and hopefully then it will fit better but you can see this guy this guy and this guy uh and this guy and this guy so half of this is Gino's this and that other bracelet are the two that I wear not Pandora charms on and I don't mind that on this bracelet and on the other one because they are leathers they don't have thread stations so I probably wouldn't do that with a snake chain but needed Gengar in my life. I needed Toothless in my life. So just have to make some exceptions. And then this, my dad has bought me most of these terms because he is from Pittsburgh and he and I are huge, huge, huge Pittsburgh Steeler fans. So obviously I had to have a Pittsburgh Steeler bracelet and I wear this on game days. I love it. This is the one I was going to put that football on, but it just ended up being a little too, like it didn't have the right spot. Now I've thought about getting a second football and putting them here and maybe that's what I'll do, but I don't know. Part of me wants another bracelet to layer with this one for the football because I figured I'd layer these two together, but I tend to layer this one and then I layer these two because this little guy, <laughs> um, is kind of my husband and me represented on a bracelet. So as soon as this guy came out, I knew I needed him. He's the tree monster. To me, he represents Groot, which is my husband's favorite Marvel movie. We are huge, huge, huge Marvel nerds. Um, and then when Captain America, when this charm came out, it was a park exclusive. I had to have it because Captain America is my favorite. So I don't know. That's my Marvel bracelet. And so I tend to wear, like I said, I wear these two stacked and then this one on my other wrist. 
and then I just wear my Steelers one by itself. So I feel like I need another bracelet to stack with this one because I end up wearing him by himself with no other bracelets on game days. And that's fine, but the football could easily be a centerpiece, right? He's a cutie. All right, last layer. Okay, so these are some special bracelets that um, kind of don't go anywhere else. And then some just empty bracelets. So this is empty. I'm going to put probably some of that stuff in the top layer that's been waiting for a bracelet. I just got it. So I'm just trying to decide what to put on here. This is an open bangle that has the moon and the sun on it. And I wear it empty because it's just pretty. And I stack it with this blue one. Yeah. So these charms, I just, I don't know. This was the first bracelet I ever made that was not like memory charms. It was just pretty and I just wanted it like a des what I call designer bracelets so this was the first one that led me down the rabbit hole and this little guy says I love you to the moon and back I got it right after my husband passed and this was all just kind of it was a little cathartic to me and it just represents to me that he's out there and the stars watching over me. So that's kind of silly, but that's what it represents to me. And so I wear it by itself. This is kind of similar. So this one in the middle here is my wife always. And then I have a few special beads here. This one that says happily ever after, which is obviously my blog name. This was engraved and on the back I have our wedding anniversary and then this one opposite says sometimes you've got to fall before you fly and so I don't know this one just I wear it sometimes when I feel close to my hubby and I stack it with this one which has the the heart with the wings which to me is kind of like angel wings and then this is just a leather that I wear um, with my other blue bracelets sometimes. Honestly, it's kind of bluish silver. And this one and my pink one, like no matter how much I clean it, it just looks so tarnished. So I very, very rarely reach for this because of that. But I haven't put any charms on it. I might one day. Ta-da! So that is everything that is in my collection everything that is in my box the only thing that's left just second is this little guy i keep him on my vanity and he has my christmas bracelet in here i wear this for the holidays and this is what i was telling you has the rope clips from my first ever bracelet my husband gave me. So I could probably keep him in my stackers box, but I don't know. I have this little thing and this one makes the most sense to be by himself. So plus then it makes it a little special for Christmas as I can reach into this little guy and put it on. Da -da -da -da. I have a few other boxes. Um, I'm not going to go get all of them because two or three of them I have in my bedroom. Like this one's on my vanity. I have one on my bedside table. I have one next to my chair. I keep them around. That way <laughs> I have a tendency to when I am done wearing a bracelet, I just take it off. And I just put it wherever. So if I have little boxes everywhere, I can put it in a box and that are safe. Otherwise, I just put them wherever and I will lose them. So. Let's count. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 Pandora bracelets currently in my collection. Obviously, there are several works in progress, so I am not done, but I need to be for at least a minute because I've just had so many purchases that it's ridiculous and and I need to stop. So I hope you guys liked this video. It is a full look at all my bracelets, full look at my stackers box. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. And if you want a bead by bead look at any of my bracelets, um, let me know. I'm thinking I'll at the very least do my three full ones and I can always do any of the, any of these as well. I have a few videos I've done already. Actually, I think I did this one when I first got it because this was one of my first ones from Hong Kong. And you guys, like, it took so long to get these pretty cherry blossom details. So I do think I have one on that already. I'll leave any links down below to ones I've already reviewed. But let me know. In the meantime, I will see you around YouTube. I will see you around Facebook. Definitely Instagram. So like, comment, subscribe. Tell your friends, show your mom. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, I forgot this ring. I also have this ring. Okay, bye.